Um, so what I initially wanted to ask you was what are the sort of immediate thoughts that this object provokes when you look at it? Um, it has an amazing value. I really, um, I, it makes me smile because I think about the amazing journeys my students take. So I'm really connected to the object because it, um, because I'm really connected to how that object was made and through those journeys, so it really means a lot to me, that object. So every time I look at it, it gives me pleasure, it makes me smile. Cool. Um, so, like, as to your relationship with John Joe, what, what sort of part did you play in, in his journey in making this object? So, um, I love facilitating learning. I love the journey that students take as they find out what is an authentic practice to them, you know, what really means something to them. And so um, I see this object a lot with, alongside a lot of the outcomes that people make at the end of their three years of study. You know, I could, when I look at them, I can see the sort of the breakdowns and the breakthroughs and the clarity that they've got and, and the joy that they've had in making that object. So when an object that has been made by one of my students is gifted to me, um, it's really special. I mean, so much more special than a bottle of gin. <laughs> um, and you know, one of the things that's particularly pertinent to this is that we had this connection to do with gardening. So um, I really enjoyed that journey of this object because John John Joe was really inspired by the garden and the actual photographs that were taken um, for the degree show of this object were in my allotment. So you know, like. Um, I think it's really interesting how, I'm not sure this is relevant for the old study, how when you're teaching there are lots of objects that you really value and you can really see the journey and then there are a few objects that you want to live with. So the difference between admiring an object and actually wanting to like own and live an object and have an object in your home. So um, I, you know, this object is important because it was gifted to me but also it has a it has a place in my life because I really like gardening and I really like using it. So it, it's sort of it's um, yeah it comes to life when you use it. Yeah, that, that was the point I was going to ask you. Um, and a bit right into the conversation actually is whether the actual object itself and what it is and the purpose it has as an object um, makes it you know, more purposeful, more meaningful to you. Um, yeah, so I love gardening mm -hmm. and um, I had great conversations with John Joe in this space around um, that key bit of Chartist poetry, which is it doesn't take a plough to feed a family, it takes a shovel. So, you know, like um, that's something that really resonated with me. So John Joe's intention in the object resonated with me because actually I love growing vegetables and um, and I can not completely sort of sustainable but um, the joy that it gives me sort of like growing vegetables being connected to the land seeing things grow and this idea that um, my family eat a lot of things that I've grown so the, the whole sort of like idea behind it really resonated with who I am although I really do enjoy it when student students gift me outcomes this one was really connected to my own values and things that I'm really interested in so um I did a lot of product testing with it, you know, so take the trial and do it. Or um, another student last year um, who I was also gifted, um, uh, so Jacob Edmondson gifted me one of his brooches. But, you know, I was part of the process of trialling the brooch. So wear it down, see if it falls off, and it did keep falling off. But, you know, like, so you're already invested in the object. Yeah, yeah. So um, for me, um, that relationship with students and teaching um, is really special but I know that other people that have come to the allotment have really enjoyed looking at it because mm. it talks so much of the handmade and um, I, I like it that I'm because I'm invested in it I can tell people about John Joe's story and the chartists and it's got a lovely textured quality so it feels like it's handmade it feels really special you know, I, I know the meaning that he put into every aspect of the decision of that. Um, it makes me aware how important it is for people to 
communicate their intention and to communicate what their ideas are around, what they're trying to capture, because then it really resonates with people. People really get it. So, you know, I know the decision about making ash. I know the decision about, you know, like why there was that red joint. So I'm really sort of invested in the generation of the object. But using it is a joy. It's textural. It's handmade. I think what is interesting is I didn't like the bronze ones. <laughs> he made bronze ones that were special. I, I don't like the idea of gardening as bronze. I think that, like, gardening needs to be with steel. Yeah. So I didn't, I wanted a steel one. Yeah. And using it has been great fun. Yeah. I spend a lot of time gardening, and I really like the way that I can not just dig down with it, but I can, like, scrape across with it. So I use it a lot. And it feels nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It makes me smile every time I use it. It would make me smile if it wasn't made by John Joe because of its quality of making the textures and I can see it's handmade mm -hmm. but I get to use it it's lovely to use and it was made in John Joe so it's like an extra bonus so I enjoy make, using it because of its the quality of the steel and the forging but also I've got this additional connection with the maker and mm -hmm. their story and their journey yeah that's cool. Um, so, what is what is the like the significance of being gifted objects by the students, right? As opposed to you saying, "Oh, I, I want to use that. I want to live with it. Can I buy it?" What's what's kind of the significance of them gifting it to you? Do you feel? Um, I think that um, it's a real acknowledgement of the journey that we've travelled together. So, um, one of I don't know if you know more about this dissertation, but it's a little bit more about me. But um, the, the, there's this really weird thing about teaching where people come on the first year and um, they go through these amazing journeys and then they bugger off at the end of three years and, and that's sort of like it. But it's never like that for me because I feel like as though I'm really invested in their journey. It what It's what makes me who I am as a teacher. But it's also really weird because you really get to know people and then they go again. So um, when you are gifted something that marks that, it feels like it's like frozen to a moment in time. And it feels like someone has noticed the investment you put in and it feels really special. So it feels like as though they have shared something that is important and invested in and intimate with them that really acknowledges the contribution that you've made. So I that makes it really special. Yeah. And if I can if, if I like it and I can use it, it's even better. <laughs> but um so I'm also oh yeah, I so without making without talking about psychology, but it's because I I, I really that's something that's important to me is the investment and then the acknowledgement. So, um, I don't know whether everyone seems like a bit of a like makes cakes or, or gifts a thing. I sort of like think it means that people have noticed that for me, this is not a job. For me, this is like one of those extra things that make a difference. And so it's really nice when people notice that. Um, what was the question? I've gone off on some little tangent. Um, I think one was. I've lost myself listening as well. Um, what else? Yeah, the, the actual act of being gifted it. Does, does that make a difference? So, yeah, you, you, did, you did answer that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so, um, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. So, um, <laughs> probably not for recording. So, last year's 30 years. Um, we went through the pandemic and we did so much stuff, and, but they didn't, and, and it really bothered me. Mm. But actually, I think at the end of the third year, just like note, note to third years. <laughs> I, I think it's important to acknowledge all of that extra bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit pissed with last year's graduates. Really? Yeah. Really? Do you want me to stop they, didn't, they didn't get it. Right. And it bothered me. Right. I felt that really sad. Mm. I feel like so, you know, I invest quite a lot in training that. It doesn't have to be a thing they've made, because obviously I've got some big thing from John Joe. But um graduation, go to the cathedral, 
beautifully comes in the big bunch of flowers. And I just think it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, like acknowledgement. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's, that's really cool. Um, I was going to ask, have you been gifted something similar to this object? You kind of did already answer this a little bit, but have you been given an object like this that hasn't been handmade that you know, <laughs> doesn't have the same kind of <laughs> effect? <laughs> I had, so I mean, everyone knows I've got that gym, everyone knows I've got that flowers, that's all really cool, but this sort of object is really special and it's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, so I have had, um, a few years ago, I had a student who knew I really liked ceramics. Oh, have you heard about them? The, um, I liked ceramics, they knew I liked gardening. Right. So they decided to gift me a gnome. Mm -hmm. But the, the gnome was not one they'd made, but was one that was made out of resin. And it had a very big nose. And it was really, really ugly. Mm. <laughs> so they gave it to me at the graduation ceremony. And I can remember just opening it and being like, <laughs> and the O was absolute horror because it wasn't gifted in the way that was kitsch mm. or funny it was gifted with integrity yeah but for me it made me not like john joe when i was gifted that so i make it mean something it's it's one of the, it's not a good trait it um <laughs> like the, this is a little genius approach i'm just telling your story um so when i look at this i see john joe's breakthroughs and i see a real practice of integrity when i was gifted this gnome i just was like what is it that I do with my life mm. <laughs> that someone can be taught for me by three years to talk all about design and aesthetics and the end result is a resin <laughs> gnome? I was like absolutely mortified. <laughs> and then as I put it back in the box, I knocked its nose off and broke it. <sighs> and then and then I was really worried about it because I didn't want to keep the object in my life, but I didn't feel like I could throw it away, but I didn't want to repair it. Mm -hmm. and, and then I had this whole dilemma because it had been gifted integrity but I didn't want it in my life what do I do about it mm -hmm. um, anyway I relate this story to a group of third years several years later mm -hmm. and um, they bought me a weekend making a basket because I love baskets again connected to the garden so I had a weekend course and dinner and they all went out and they bought me all a gnome and it all black paint so I had 32 gnomes <laughs> to do my work <laughs> that's brilliant so i mean it was like it was really funny but there was that sense of like i think i i over invested it so you know that for me that was really challenging because it was like so horrid mm. i've got a gosh story oh yeah yeah, yeah. go on so, rather than that's so, good. so last on my birthday last year Josh bought me the most horrific piece of ceramics of my life, right? Mm -hmm. So he did the same thing as the gnome. She's requesting ceramics, it's her birthday, and it was really horrid. Mm. I try really hard, but all I can do is go, how can you afford that? That's a good thing. Oh, no. <laughs> he's now concluded that he's going to buy me shit ceramics forever. But it was horrific. And I said to my daughter, I've got this gift. And now I don't know what to do with it because I don't, I, I don't want to live with it. And she said, you're really mean and you're really ungrateful <laughs> until she saw it. And then she went, what the fuck are you doing with your life? <laughs> you know, like, wow. it, I'll send you a photo of it. Yeah. You can have it next to the <laughs> You can have it next to the thing, the thing not to do. I've got one gnome left in my office because most of them were all plastic and I kept hold of one cast one. Um, I have learned that actually beyond the gifting, what I'm really interested in at the end of three years is people that can look me in the face and can smile and I can meet their parents and I know they've been on an amazing journey. So actually mm -hmm. I can, you know, bottle up the gift and replace it with just connection and integrity and know that at the end of three years, people go, you know, thanks to I made a difference and I learned a lot of stuff. Um, but if that stretches to a gift, it's also cool. <laughs> but, um, I think gifts that you've been with 
with someone on the journey where they've invested and you've seen the outcome are incredibly yeah. special. Yeah, definitely. And um, to have that sort of like added bonus of something that you really want to live within your home, because what you'll see in my office is quite a lot of objects that have been gifted to me by students. They've got amazing stories mm. that I really respect and value and admire, but I don't actually want to live with them in my home. Yeah. Um, Holland, who is in the office next to me, um, made an extraordinary doll. There's two pieces of work of hers in the office. And, um, I, you know, I'm really touched, moved and inspired by them and they've got loads of meaning. But um, my children are petrified of them because they're also connected to, like, witchcraft and with all these other meanings. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I don't have them in my home, yeah. but they're still really important gifts. So yeah. um, that's part of the, of the objects in my office. But uh, some of them are gifts that I really value, but I don't want to live with them in my home. Yeah, I suppose with that, it's more personal because that's like a connection to you and what you like. As, you know, yeah, yeah, so the idea that that can be used and engaged with, like, I really wanted that in my life because I like yeah. gardening because I do that. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. That's cool. And on the flip side, do you, have you ever given, like, a handmade gift to someone as opposed to something that's non-handmade? Um, and or why? Yes. I think that, um, or I think always, and I think what's really interesting I've noticed the last couple of years is my kids. So my like Minnie will is works in the retailery shop. She's nineteen. She makes artwork, but also she only wants to give her friends objects that have been made and objects that she can talk about the story and the narrative with. And so absolute joy to me that I didn't see coming. So. She, you know, we went off, she wants things that are made by local potters, local blacksmiths, um, local people that do macrame. She only wants to gift things to her friends and her group of friends that she knows that are handcrafted and made. Right. And I think she'll probably go off and be a psychologist or a lawyer. But she's really invested in the handmade and the craft and the detail of that. Mm. And I think that's really cool. I think we, I've always... Um, I think there's something weird, maybe about giving something that you've done sometimes. It feels like as though, you know, I guess it depends on the value you put on your objects and things like that. Um, but um, the, so because I work full time, I don't do a lot of making. But, you know, sort of when we think about like Christmas craft and kids, you know, I've always um, made ceramic objects with the kids forge things with the kids or we'll forge things with dad and those have always been the gifts we've been a household that's always made homemade shortbread giving away the chutney we made giving away the jam that we made I, I you know i think there's so much more value in something that you've invested time in yeah. that really that, that you've invested time in that shows that you wouldn't give a shit not that you've just got money yeah so um i think though it you know you can get it wrong because if people don't see the value in the handmade they might not see the value in an object mm. um, and I'm often too skint to afford to be able to buy the things that I'd like to gift people yeah but I come from certainly a, a family and I and I created my own nuclear family and my kids really value the investment made to gift a thing mm -hmm. so if it's Meg's kids, if it's Meg's friend's birthday, she might get them another thing, which will make more chocolate brownies. She'll, you know, we'll wrap up the chocolate brownies, we'll give the jam, we'll do the thing. That's that's sort of like just the way we rock it, that we yeah. want to invest in someone knowing that you've really taken note or you know what sort of chocolate brownies they like, so you make it just for mm. them. Yeah. So whether that's about something permanent so, um, I've had a very wonderful Christmas present this year mm. from the staff team here. And um, I could bring it in and show it to you, I could show it to my mum. So, um, the staff team here this year bought me a gift. I didn't know they were going to buy me a gift. And they, so I'm looking at it 
Instagram and I said to Ambrose a couple of months ago, Sam Pierce, that bulb planter is sexy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he thought we were. This was really? the staff team brought me in bulb planting. So I've got Sam Pierce bulb planter and last weekend I planted the daffodils and that was because, you know, Ambrose recognises my values. And he got everyone else to enrol in it. So, and for me, that object is really special because it's made by my grad, one of my graduates. So it's not, so that is not gifted by Sam, although I'm sure he got a mate's vote. But you know, it's gifted by the team here, and it's an acknowledgement that the team here understand who I am and who my values are. That they would, you know, put cash in getting me the bulb planter, yeah. and they know that that object has added meaning because it's someone that I have taught, someone that we have together seen grow and flourish yeah. and it's made so it's a really beautiful object that's all really treasure. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that's everything. Thank you very much for that. Um,